In this video, I go over five pieces of gear under $1,000 for DJs and producers. Find out which ones those are, coming up. Thank you for watching P.TV where you'll find tips, tricks, and tutorials for DJs and music performers. Now let's get into the video. So the first item we have up is the pi <clears throat> So the first item we have up is the Pioneer DJ DDJ SX2 Professional DJ Controller for Serato DJ. Now I just recently picked up the Pioneer DJ SR2 and I really love that controller and it really, you know, sparked my interest again in DJ controllers and actually how they feel and how they perform. And I went from the Roland DJ505 and switched over to the Pioneer DJ SR2. And I must say that the difference in build quality is pretty astounding. Now, not to knock Roland, I mean, their build quality was pretty good, but the fact that you get metal top plates and you get a, it just feels a little bit more professional when you switch over to uh, something like a Pioneer controller or some of the other brands. So I took a look at the SX2 again in person and man, if I really needed a bigger format, you know, more professional looking controller than the little SR2, which is good when you're traveling or you need to just pop up somewhere real quick, the SX2 is like a really nice size. It's not too big, so it's, you know, really hard to travel with, but it's not too small where it doesn't look as professional. And you get the option of having multiple inputs. So it does have four channels, and it does have the ability to do DVS, so you could have, theoretically, two turntables or two CDJs along with the two platters, the two decks that are on the controller as well. So having that flexibility with this controller, having it be DVS ready, having it actually be an actual mixer, and still having all the types of functions that you find on a pro level, you know, Pioneer DJ controller, all under $1,000 makes it a really great buy in my opinion. And keeping on the theme of Serato DJ controllers, next up we have the Denon DJ MC7000. Just like the Pioneer DJ SX2, this one has a nice metal construction and feels really, you know, professional and feels like it can take a beating. Now, I know a lot of people are used to Pioneer DJ and see them in the clubs everywhere and for good reason, they do make great products, but that doesn't mean that there are other companies just like Denon DJ that make really great products for a little bit less money as well. So this is about the size of the SX2, but one thing that I really like about this Denon controller that I think blows the SX2 out of the water in a lot of regards is the fact that this Serato DJ controller has two USB ports. So you can actually do switch offs without having to unplug and replug and worrying about, you know, having an extra audio source. This controller having two USB ports allows for two laptops to be plugged in, so seamless transition between DJs, and you can still grab this for the same price as the SX2 for under $1,000. Now, Denon's not in a lot of you know major clubs at this point. I know they're trying with their Prime series, and those are really great. And I've been a fan of Denon for a long time. They've made some really high quality products, but just haven't had the kind of fanfare that Pioneer DJ's products have. But I will say that I think they're pretty much on the same level, especially in this, you know, controller market. So if you're in the market for a DJ controller that you can switch off between DJs with seamlessly, this is the best bet, especially at this price point. Pioneer's controller with two USBs is way more expensive than this. And I will say that I like this form factor better. It's a little bit smaller and easier to carry than Pioneer's larger controllers. So if you were in the market for something around the same size as the Pioneer DJ SX2, but want something with two USBs, this is definitely the way to go. Continuing on with Reloop, we have here the Reloop RMX90 DVS Digital Club Mixer for Serato DJ. Now this is Reloop's four channel club standard layout mixer. It looks a lot like the Pioneer DJM, you know, series, the 800, 900, etc. And again, if you're looking for something with that Pioneer feel and that Pioneer layout, but at a cheaper price point and still maintains a very similar build quality, Reloop hits the mark once again with the RMX90. This thing keeps that club standard four channel layout that Pioneer made famous, includes 
uh, Serato DJ enabled uh, you know, audio interface, but still maintains a cheaper price point, making it available to a lot more DJs out there. So being able to plug in to Serato DJ really quickly with the built-in interface means you don't have to add any you know, external audio interfaces and the ability to drop an innovator in it makes it really easy to make this a top level scratch ready mixer. And overall, I really like this mixer a lot from all those features plus you know, the other club standard features like having filters on each channel to having different beat effects. This thing is a really nice complete package all under $1,000. And here we have an item that's a little bit above the $1,000 price range for this video, but I still gotta mention it. This is the Electron Analog 4. Now I know they did come out with the Analog 4 too, the sequel to this, but that means that you can get this version, which is still a great piece of gear for less than the new one. You can find this thing a little bit discounted now if you search around, and it's a great piece of kit. Electron has been putting out some of the most innovative and best sounding products in this range for a while now. And the Analog 4 is, I think, one of their biggest stars. You know, it's a great tabletop synthesizer, really nice sequencer on it as well. You can put out some really nice, really fat sounding sounds for around the $1,000 price point. I know this one's a little bit above, but it's definitely worth the extra change. And finally, what is becoming one of my favorite studio monitors, we have the Atom Audio A5X. These are already powered, so you don't have to worry about getting an amp or anything like that. They're active, as well as just really flat and really nice sounding, and not to mention a killer design. These things look so nice in the studio, along with sounding really nice as well. So grabbing a pair of these for under $1,000 is definitely a great buy. So that's a look at five great pieces of gear under $1,000 for DJs and producers. If you're interested in purchasing any of those, links can be found down below in the description. And as always, if you find this video useful, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, go ahead and click right here to subscribe to this channel. Or if you'd like to watch more content, go ahead and click on that video right there. And thank you for watching P.TV where you'll find tips, tricks, and tutorials for DJs and music performers. See you next time.